Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can use Google Images to search and verify whether other websites are using your image. Uh, this is very important for photographers and I do this every once in a while on some of my more popular images. Uh, let's first start out with an image that I took. I took this photo last year for a website called OCSurfPics.com and you need to get a copy of you need to copy the URL of the image, not where the pa not where it lies on an individual website page, but the actual URL of the image. In this case, I highlighted up here. I hit copy. If you're on a website that this image is, or your image that you're searching is simply embedded in there, you can right click on it and and hit copy image URL. Each browser will be different, but remember that you need the the full URL of the image. I then come over here to Google Images and the default is always on search. I already have it over on image, um, images, so Google Images and here on this little icon of a camera you click on it, it's search by image and this is where you'll paste the URL. Now you can go ahead and do it by URL or upload an image but in our case we're going to use the URL and the resulting uh, page will give you the uh, websites um, or images that it believes are similar or exact to yours. In this case, we have the original image up here on top. The first one is OC Surf Picks, where I originally um, posted it up. And so that's fine, obviously. Um, if you want to see it, this is the page where it's originally uh, located at. Uh, the second one and the second two are called SoCal Daily Photo and actually even the third one here that's this image is also on that website well in this case that's good because I actually put it there so we can see that Google Images because it indexed that page it was able to find this image that's an exact match. Now this is okay. They obviously didn't steal it because I'm the one who placed it there. So it's it's placed there with my authorization. So that is okay. If there would have been another uh, URL website here down uh, with the list that I didn't recognize, then I would know that they are using one of my images. Uh, obviously without me knowing. So this is the way that you find uh, whether other websites are using your images. Now if you're using, uh, if you have an account on Flickr, which most photographers do, uh, many photographers do, I do, um, there's a good chance that some of your images are being used by other uh, websites. And so I suggest what I end up doing probably every two to three months or so, I look at my top 10 most popular images, the ones that have the most views, and I do this little exercise that I just did. And I probably, I'd say, out of the two, out of the 10, at least two or three of them, I get hits of other websites that are using my images. Now, uh, each photographer has their own um, uh, belief in, in in what they like or don't like when other websites use their images. Um, in my case, I, and I think in everybody's, for all photographers' case, the worst type is that is when a website removes the watermark and is using it on their website either for an article or for profit or something like that. And and, and that's usually when I uh, uh, contact them to have them take it down. And there's a way that I that I do that. You could check on, on the website and it will show you how, how you can do that as well. But anyway, I hope this was helpful and uh, I'll see you next time.